Hello everyone. So this is the second episode of the uh, portal jump system that we are working on for the multiplayer FPS project. So this is what we are referencing the Destiny 2 portal jump effect that we enter the portal from one end and exit from here. And in the last episode we did uh, work on this uh, spline based portal system where we added the spline and where we added the spline mesh and two doors to the ends and today we are going to work on the materials uh, for the door and for this spline mesh and this episode is sponsored by this generous patron thank you very much for your support okay so this is what we have at the moment um, let's continue to work on this pipe material and the door material so let's start with the door so for the door i downloaded some texture from the internet which is uh, this one so i'm going to use this uh, for the door of the portal right <coughs> let me import it portal and let's drag and drop here oh, what happened here right oh. so uh, basically I am going to use this shape for the door so for the opacity uh, let's uh, no, let's leave it like this uh, let me delete uh, let's use this R value and let's see what do we get here we get a shape like this uh, let's preview this in a cylinder okay this is the shape we get this defines the color from this R value uh, actually any value would work because black means zero of R G and B right now if I apply you will see in the door something like this yeah this uh, portal pipe is a little bit distracting so let me this is the material i have used for the bottle pipe uh, let me also make this one translucent and make it a bit transparent let's make it like 0.5 and add a different color maybe white yeah now it's less distracting we can clearly see the door right now I need this door to rotate in the to make it look like a portal so to rotate we can uh, uh use the custom rotator node so as the uv input we can use text coordinate and connect it this way so we can rotate but uh, in order to rotate we have to give a change in value here which could be like we can get the uh, time but I am not sure if it would be yeah now it is rotating but is that the way we need not sure ah oh, yeah it rotates as expected
yeah uh, so we can add a multiply here if we need to adjust the speed let's call it rotation speed if I make it one it should rotate as the fast as the time changes if I make it two it would be faster see if I make it lower it will slow down so I'll do it like 0.9 okay is that enough right so we can make it much better with maybe we can add some Niagara effect particle effect to make it look more cool but I don't really want to spend much time on the uh, on the material and the effects because I need to jump to the actual imp implementation of the portal so yeah uh, therefore I'm gonna stop the door here now let's quickly add some effects to the pipe so for this one also let's do we have any noise oh, we do let's get some noise texture here and multiply the color with one of the channels actually even if I do with the both channels it should be fine ah no we don't really need to multiply it with the color we can keep the color as it is we can add the opacity and multiply it with the noise so you see uh, some kind of a randomization along the path like this right now let's give some moment to this so yeah we can see some seams in the places where the two pipes are connected um, I don't think I can do anything about that at the moment unless using uh, seamless uh, texture but when there is a movement in the texture it should be fine right so now how do we add a movement uh, let's get text coordinate we change it like this and we can paint no we can add the vector to this so make float to so x would be horizontal speed uh, horizontal displacement y would be vertical displacement so i don't think we have to change y here so for the x let's add time so we should see some moment yeah like this right now if I apply and go here we should be able to see the moment on the oh that's in the wrong direction so I think we have to connect it to Y at all now let's add another multiplier here let's call it uh, speed and let's use point 0.9 it's 
so we can change the speed using that by changing that parameter okay so I think if I match the colors of both here and here it should be better so instead of pink what if I use white right but it's not very clear with white uh, wait one more thing we can add some illumination here emission uh, let me multiply the same color with the emissive color promote the parameter let's call it emission and let's try to So it should look more brighter yeah let's try a color like blue right let's use the same color for the bottle pipe as well all right so here is the final demonstration you can see the portal entrance here and this is the portal inside how we looks when we are seeing it from the inside and we will be exiting from here if we enter from this side the basically the flow should be reverted we will work on that later okay so with that i'm gonna stop this episode right here and in the next time in the next episode let's work on how to actually implement the portal system when the character jumps in character will be teleported through the well, not teleported automatically boosted through the pipe to the other end mm, yeah thanks for watching uh, if you would like to support my work you can get the membership of the patreon club and the project files will be available for the download see you in another episode goodbye